Introducing Cold Steel's brand new Ultra Lock. Very similar to the Benchmade Axis Lock, but it's Cold Steel's take on it. Side actuating, ambidextrous, fast as hell, very strong. And if you thought these were brand new, I am lying to you. These go back a long ways. These were Cold Steel's original models of the AK-47, as well as the Recon 1. But they used the Ultra Lock, as they called it, which again, essentially was like a Benchmade Axis Lock. Now, the internal mechanics of them are a little bit different, particularly on this Recon 1. The stop pin is embedded within the tang of the blade. They function a little bit differently, but more or less, they still have what are very similar to the Omega Springs. Very similar locking mechanisms. At a certain point, don't quote me on this, but I was told Cold Steel lost their patent on it. But as we know, 2023, Benchmade lost their patent on the Axis Lock, and now every other company is starting to take advantage of it. The Dura Lock, the Crossbar Lock. A lot of different companies are just using that exact same locking mechanism and giving it different names. And why not? It's an excellent locking mechanism. Extremely strong, extremely fast, ambidextrous. It's got the fidget factor, but objectively, they're also very functional locking mechanisms as well. Not just these Ultra Locks, but the whole Axis style lock in general. One bonus that a lot of the Ultra Locks have is that you can lock the knife in the closed position by twisting the locking mechanism. You can see it's slightly more pointed to the right. The blade will not open. It keeps it locked in the shut position. You could certainly use that as well. I do like how industrial these look. They kind of look unfinished. There's not a separate nice friendly rounded piece on top of the locking mechanism. It's just straight up looks like a flathead screwdriver slit. Honestly, I think that's cool as hell. It looks very, very industrial and mechanical. So just figured I'd give you a little blast from the past showcasing some old model. I want to say pre-2010, maybe pre-2011. Recon 1 and AK-47. The two knives I know of that Cold Steel use their Ultra Lock on. So although these are long discontinued and going up and up in value, becoming more collectible every day because more get lost, more get destroyed. This is the law of entropy. If you want to get really philosophical there. Um, now that other companies are allowed to use the Axis Lock, from Benchmade, I would love Cold Steel to bring these back. In fact, just improve them as much as they can now that we have progressed in trends and technology in the folding knife world. Cold Steel, do it. I would love to see that. Then again, Cold Steel does have their Atlas lock now, which is a spine actuating locking mechanism that's even stronger than these, and it still has the same fidget factor, so maybe we'll never see these again, but I just thought I'd give you a quick little look at these relics. The Ultra Lock from Cold Steel. They've been borrowing the Benchmade Axis Lock before it was cool.